I stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. A gunslinger. Oh, they're going to tell stories about you from here to Hephaestus. Yes, I should pick someone likely to survive a hail of gunfire. What I wouldn't pay to see you challenge the chairman to fisticuffs. You could make a vicar doubt the law. Things tend to vanish off tables whenever you're around. Your skills would have been wasted in a corporate lab. A steady hand at the helm. I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite. I hear Rizzo's was hiring candy testers. You're better off without an indenturement contract. Bureaucrat, eh? You'll have plenty of company. I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. Good. I might require you to push a few buttons. Construction, eh? How riveting. No discernible aptitude? We'll see about that. You poor thing. Made to listen to that dreadful music all day. Know how to mix a zero-G? A laborer. You'll have plenty of company. At least you're not afraid of getting your hands dirty. No signs of monsterism. Hmm, lucky you. If this were an aetherwave drama, I'd say something about cleaning up the colony. <laughs> How degrading. I hope you're comfortable with needles. There's an archaic profession, like town crier or civil defender. Class A. Oh, right. Test subject. Can you really compete with a spacer's choice frozen dinner? Good. You're used to having chemicals pumped into you.
Ah, there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, well. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one.
now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Hey, you. Come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh. Huh. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. <coughs> hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, law, that stings. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Uh, not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. <laughs> 